Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> oh, I should I should have put up there. So this is from the book of Luke. There was a guy named uh, Zacchaeus. We had our sermon here service here at uh, Bonsteel Chapel. I wanted you to see the beautiful snow and the beautiful chapel, the snow covered, because who knows, it may stop later. And and they said it wasn't going to stick oh, anyway. <clears throat> Something already happened. I know I'm lying. Ten percent. But uh. Uh, but anyway, so there's a man named Zacchaeus. Now, I'm on, I, I, there's a man named Zacchaeus. I'm going to say I did get this message from another preacher, parts of it. But uh, honestly, I can't even remember who he was except that he was from Tennessee. So I'm just giving, putting that out there. Um, there's a man named Zacchaeus. And uh, he didn't know what it was like when a miracle working man named Jesus passed by your life. If you've been at Faith Baptist Church or First Baptist Church Union Point or somewhere else, you may have heard this before. But, uh, and uh, so, so as he passed by one house, there was a blind man. Passed by a second house, there was a lady with an issue of blood. Passed by a third house, uh, and there was a, uh, a demon-possessed man. And then they passed by the fourth house, there was a, uh, <clears throat> there was a, uh, a son of a widow who had died. And the thing is, is all those people Jesus passed by their life. So, what happened to the first one? The man received his sight. His name was Bartimaeus. He's in the ninth chapter, I believe, of, of the book of Luke. And, uh, and if you'll look, he, he was the first one to ever say, Jesus, son of David. He was the first one to call him the son of David. He must have actually read the scriptures and knew that the Messiah who was going to come was going to be the son of David. So second thing he said, the uh, second time he went there and he said, Oh, Mr. Zacchaeus, hope you sit down on here on the porch. Let me tell you about what happened when a work, miracle worker man named Jesus passed by my life. Now I can see. So second house he came to, the woman with an issue of blood, she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, my life will be forever changed. And it was. He said, go away, you're healed. Your faith has made you whole. So third house he went to, and uh, uh, he said he, uh, 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 he, he saw the demon-possessed man. He was clothed in his right mind. He was uh, uh, with his wife and with their children. And... Um, and the, the fourth house, when he came to that, that house, there was a little boy that answered the door, and Zacchaeus said, he said, son, I'm at the wrong house. He said, oh, no, 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 I was dead, and now I'm alive. So let me tell you what those four people had in common. They're just like me. First one, he was blind. Uh, can I say that at one time that... Um, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. So now I can sing amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me, because now I can see. See what it's like when you have Jesus in your life. The second one was uh, the woman with an issue of blood. And can I say that I got a royal blood transfusion? And, and God made me a son of the king. Uh, I can approach the throne room boldly. And as I always say, I can't go to the governor's mansion in the state of Georgia and, and talk to him. I can't go to the White House, go straight up uh, to Donald Trump, talk to him. I can't uh, go to, the, to, the, to the, 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 the head of this country. Well, they don't have one right now. But I can't go to the head of this country and talk to him. However, I can approach the throne room of the creator of heaven and earth boldly and ask, uh, ask for, for whatever I want in the name of Jesus. So... Um, and the third, third house, was uh, that was a, a, a royal blood transfusion that I got. I'm a son of the king. Third house was a demon-possessed man. And at one time that I served the world and I served uh, 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 Satan himself, uh, Jesus is very clear that you either serve him or you serve the world. And can I say that I know what it's like to, for Jesus to change me, for me to switch that, for me to start serving the king. And I'm a bond servant to him. I will never cease to... Um, uh, uh, to continue to serve him. But then the fourth house, fourth house was somebody who was dead. And I'll say that at one point, I was dead. I was dead and lost in my trespasses and my sins. But when Jesus passed by my life, changed it. Uh, and as I said before, Zacchaeus um, ran up that sycamore tree. I think he skint all the bark off of it. And that's why they look like they do now. And he got up there and Jesus said, hey, Zacchaeus. He used his name. I'm going to tell you what, Jesus is personal to every single one of you. He's not just somebody who thinks of you as a name or a number or, or, or uh, not a name or a number, but he's not, he doesn't have you numbered uh, as if you're just number one, two, three, four, five, six. He, he doesn't uh, just call you by your title. He wants to call you by your personal name because he has the hairs on your head numbered. He has the, uh, he holds the mountains in a scale, holds the seven seas in the palm of his hand, but he wants is a personal relationship with you. So I pray that you find out what it's like when a miracle working man named Jesus comes into your life. We're going to go have some brunch, some French toast and some good stuff and uh, enjoy ourselves and enjoy this snow. So um, just
just gorgeous and I can't show you the mountains because you can't see anything it's beautiful out here uh, and uh, so they though they said it wasn't this is just the most beautiful snow that we've seen since we've been here and it's awesome want to make sure y'all got to see it too God bless you hope you have a great Sunday morning go to church um, worship at your church and um, I pray that everything I, I pray that everything that, that that God has for you would just come and you'd know what it's like when a miracle worker man named Jesus passes by your life and read the book of Luke then you'll understand all the stories that I just spoke about this is Mark have a great day God bless.